Hello, Steve Diggs here. This video is going to show you how to create a bucket server for Pixelmon so that you can have other mods besides Pixelmon installed and run a Minecraft server. The first thing we want to do is go to this MCPC Plus website. This software at this website is what runs Forge Bucket for Servers. So when we come to this website first, we can see that this is on version 1.7 of Bucket and Spigot Minecraft server. And we know from doing our other Pixelmon installs for the clients that we need version 1.6.4. So look what we have here. 1.6 builds for Bucket and Spigot servers. Now we can take the latest one or match the one, uh, match the Forge server that's going to run with our version of Pixelmon. If you looked at my client install video, you saw that we installed Forge 965. So this one's going to be perfect. What we're going to do is go ahead and click this to download it. Yes, we'll keep that. Um, this is just warning us on Google Chrome that we're going to install an executable file or download an executable file and that someone could use it to harm our computer. I've already done this, so let's go ahead and minimize that and go to our downloads folder. There's the jar file that we just downloaded. First thing that I want to do is create a new folder on the desktop to house my bucket Pixelmon server. So we're going to call this Pixelmon Bucket and open that up. This is where we're going to install everything. So we'll move MCPC Plus over there and we'll be able to run it from there. Now this is quite a long name and to have our batch file actually start this up is going to be difficult so we're going to rename this Oops, to Pixelmon Server. Okay so we've got this renamed as Pixelmon Jar. Now because we're running a bucket server and a spigot server, what we need to do is create a batch file in order to use this to start it. So what we need to do is go ahead and open up Notepad. Just type Notepad in here. And if you go to the video description, you'll be able to get the text that we're going to write in here. So just copy and paste that text from the video description in here. Now we've got this in here. The name of our server needs to go in here instead of craft bucket jar. So scroll down, we called it Pixelmon Server. And I have a capital P at the beginning, so Pixelmon Server. Make it look exactly like that. This is a .jar file. Yours might not say .jar, I have these turned on. Um, so now what this tells it to do it's going to open up a command line when we run this batch file. It's going to run Java. It's going to use this much RAM to run our server. It's going to look for a jar file called this. And this dash zero or dash O means online set to true. And then it will pause. This will give us a black command line box that will run. And that's where we can type in our commands like stop the server and things like that. Leave that running while your server is up and going. Um, 1024, one gigabyte of RAM is a little bit small. So let's change that to 2048. Just multiply it by two. If you wanted to use up three gigs of RAM, you could multiply that by three. And if you're really good at math, you would figure out that that's 378. Hmm, I shouldn't do math online, should I? Okay. Now what we're going to do is save this file into our desktop folder called Pixelmon Bucket. And we have to change the type to all files so we can call this start bucket.bat for batch file. If you forget to do this and leave it on text, it's going to call it start bucket.text. And there's no problem with that. I'll show you. We just hit save. Okay, it's closed. And here it's called start bucket bat text. But it's not going to run unless we have it labeled as a bat file. So if you have extensions on, you can turn this into a dot bat. But if you don't, 
you have to make sure that you do it from the start otherwise you won't get an executable file so now when we double click this it'll run pixelmon server jar which is the minecraft forge mcpc plus that we downloaded and oh i can't even spell it's called strat bucket instead of start bucket but anyway here it is starting it up it's downloading all the files we need in order to run bucket it's starting the world creating the spawn area and there you have it we have a new mcpc plus bucket slash spigot server and we're going to stop this right now so that we can install our pixelmon mod after i type stop it stops the server it says press any key to continue and that will just close this window for us now we have a mods folder where we can take and copy our pixelmon mod into if you are running bucket plugins those would go in the plugins folder and not into the mods folder the mods is for our pixelmon mod and the plugins is for bucket plugins now this time when we strat bucket server since I'm such a good speller it will run it'll initiate and wowie zowie we'll have a bucket server up and running I'm gonna move that off to the side okay so our server is up and running when it stops and it's at the command line it should be running bucket and Pixelmon, so let's check it out. We'll run Minecraft. And here you can see that I have Minecraft Forge 1.6.4965 for Pixelmon. This is already installed on my client. It's loaded. So when Minecraft comes up and runs, you can see I've got the mods loaded. I'm running Pixelmon. Now this still says 2.5.7. That's not a big deal. Um, it is actually version 3. So when I go to multiplayer, I've got a bucket server running, and that's it. We can join this server. and start having fun Bulbasaur let's go find some Pokemon oh pumpkins that's nice why are there sheep huh there's one hey look it's a little Pidgey Yay! So there you have it. Pixelmon running on a bucket server. Hey, Pidgey Pidgey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends so they can play on your bucket server as well.